I will be demonstrating how to make uh, gelatin trochs. They are consisted of uh, four different ingredients, uh, clotrimazole, uh, gelatin base, akasha, and silica gel. The, the gelatin is the base of like where everything is going to be mixed. The clotrimazole is an antifungal, which would basically give us the, the purpose of the mixture. It's an antifungal that treats uh, any fungal infections in the mouth and in the throat. The two other ingredients are akasha, which is a smoothing agent, and the last one is a silica gel, which is an emulsifying agent. It keeps everything floating all together instead of sinking in the bottom at one part of the mixture. We're going to add a sweetener, which is steviacide, 15%, and a flavoring agent. Right, I'm going to start by weighing the gelatin base in this beaker. I'm going to put it on the scale and zero it out. The silica, the gelatin base is thick and it has to be cut with scissors. It cannot be obtained with the regular spatula. So what I'm going to do is cut into it and try to get as close as possible to how much I need, which is 31 grams, 0.7. So I'm close enough, I'm going to cut little pieces just so I can make sure I have the correct amount. You do have to fight it, it's not easy. Alright, that's about it. Now to melt this uh, gelatin base, we're going to have to place it in a hot bath, but we don't have a hot bath handy, so we're going to improvise and put it in a bigger beaker with hot water. Just place it right in there, let it heat and melt. Now while that melts, we're going to mix our other ingredients together, them in a mortar and pestle. So I'll just place them all together. And I'm going to triturate them until we get an even mixture, a homogeneous mixture. After we triturate all of our powdered ingredients, we're going to make sure we try to get as much as possible. They're going to be stuck to the water. We're going to put them all in the weighing boat. So we can add them to our gelatin base afterwards. Again, you don't have to get 100% of it, but as much as possible. To speed it up, we can try to break the little pieces. And as you can see, it's liquidy now. Gonna leave it in the hot bath or our improvisation of a hot bath. And we're going to add the powder slowly, a little bit at a time. Now 
has to be evenly mixed, so that's why I'm adding a little bit at a time. After we've added all the powder, we can take it off of the hot bath and kind of keep swirling just so we can make sure everything is mixed homogeneously. Now we're going to let it cool down a little bit before we pour it into our mold. After it cools down a little, little it, ha it doesn't have to cool down completely because we won't be able to pour the mixture into the mold, just where you can carry it with your bare hands. Make sure, we're going to make sure we fill every, every one of the um, mold cavities. There's anyone that is smaller, just make sure it's full completely. The axis we can always remove with a spatula once it cools down a little bit more. After it cools down, make sure it's labeled properly and put the correct expiration date on it, which should be about 14 days. It's recommended that to do 60 days, but as a pharmacist, it's better to recommend like lower days and like it's labeled and that's how the gelatins should look like. And if you can peel one of them, you can peel this off like this and get one gelatin trunk. And that's how you make a gelatin trunks. Thank you.